What are your first impressions of, uh, of the CS2 beta that came out and uh, maybe your, your first thoughts about what works, what doesn't work? Uh, I think it's a bit hard to say. Of course, I have the beta, but uh, yeah, we've only get to play like deathmatch on matchmaking servers and stuff. Uh, I think the ticket is a bit weird, like the game feels weird to me, but that's also because maybe I played from Israel and you have 60 ping, so maybe it doesn't combine well together, you know. Um, but yeah, I think the smokes are a really cool thing. I'm in general a guy that likes change. I like that the maps are brighter, you know, and uh, the vis like the visualizes much more appealing to the eyes. It's something I'm very excited about, actually. Uh, but yeah, I think it only time will tell how good it will be, right? So uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to play the actual game on actual good servers and stuff and uh, see how it works. CS2, what are your first impressions of the game? So I'm going to be really brief here. And uh, the thing is, as soon as CS2 went out, we understood that we're playing CSGO Major. And I didn't want to spend too much time on uh, CS2. I probably played like one matchmaking game um, and that's it. So 40 minutes total playing time. I don't feel com comfortable or competent enough to judge it. But all I'm going to say is that I love the change. I love the innovation. I love that it's being brought. Uh, the timing of it couldn't be better. Yeah, actually it could. It could have been released yesterday. Like the, soon the innovations comes and new games. Like it, it, it's amazing to see the progression and Actually, now we players, fans, everyone, we understand that Valve is here not to just, uh, you know, let us go die or something. We, we're, we're thriving and uh, this is great esports and uh, we're proving it over and over with the great uh, viewerships and actually uh, people playing the game. Um, I'm just, I'm so happy when I was younger, something struck me and I chose CSGO over any, any other esports. I think it's great community, great fans, passionate ones. I, I'm, I'm so glad I did this decision and I, I, I hope everyone else uh, feels the same way. CSGO is live. Yeah, I uh, tried a couple of times actually and uh, I liked it. I liked it. I really liked it. The game was pretty much smoother, a little bit less laggy it felt like. I don't know, it's still not the final version, but uh, I assume it's going to be a, a really nice uh, updated version of CS. Uh, are there any kind of like first uh, things that you liked about it particularly or some that you would change? Um, I'm, I usually play on the left hand and uh, there's only the right hand uh, command right now. I hope they'll fix that or I have to retire early. So, <laughs> Yeah, I played uh, a little bit, uh, just three or four matches and then I played the show match uh, at EPL. My first thought is that it still needs a lot of work, but that is to be expected. It's a better version. Um, shooting felt a bit off still, um, but I assume it's something that will be improved with time. So I'm not too worried about that. CSGO, when it came out in 2012, was also absolute, or 11, was also absolute garbage at the start, right? Even worse. So I assume they will fix a lot of the stuff. I also wrote CSGO about some feedback um, because I still think that. The fact that the entire smoke can be removed is a bit too much. My feedback to them was to maybe make it a hole in the smoke, like bigger than the shooting holes. But So you can use it tactically, you can like nade the smokes, open up a gap for your orba, uh, also nade and potentially see enemies through one nuke. But like removing the entire smoke for me removes a bit of the tactical CS because what teams will do, I think, is that they will just nade the smoke and chain flash because flashes are now more are better than in CSGO. The flashes take sound, they flash, I'm not sure they flash longer, but they are much more powerful. So I gave them some feedback. Uh, this is my wishes uh, that they will potentially change because I think it adds a fun element um, that you can break the smoke. It also stops the ninja diffuses, which is, I don't think it's fun to see people diffuse in a smoke, right? So I do think there, there is potential. I think they still need to tweak some things and I hope they will follow my advice. Um, yeah, so when you say that the that the shooting is a little bit off, can you kind of, uh, do you know why? Or can you kind of give a little bit more insight, like what's off about it? It just didn't feel so natural. It felt like, um, but it could also just be that you need to get used to it, right? I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I'm, from what I can understand, it is actually still 64 tick. I'm not certain on this, so don't uh, crucify me if it's not correct. Um, but I guess that, face it or what, whoever is going to host servers still have a platform where they can host really good servers and maybe that will fix the shooting, I don't know. Yeah, I played only the evening of the, the release, basically. I played matchmaking games with uh, Rain and, and uh, Robs. And uh, yeah, I mean, my first impressions at the time was that it felt very smooth. You know, I felt even on like whatever Valve servers are using, my all my shots were like connecting 
Uh, I think the new smoke dynamics are really cool and, you know, it's meant to give like a fresh feel and look to Counter-Strike and, you know, you can't expect them to have something so big that people have been anticipating for so long and not modify something that could be, you know, game changing in some way. But, you know, of course, Valve's going to keep the CS mechanics of fundamentals because at the end of the day, that's what makes it the best FPS game. Uh, after looking at what other people have said and like, from my opinion, like after playing it, I think it could use some some work still. Apparently movement is kind of like buggy, you know, there's some like quality of life things that don't exist anymore, like you can't like inspect and play with your like your knives as much and some of the knife animations are a bit bugged. But uh, yeah, also a lot of the commands are missing and obviously Source 2 has changed the way the command uh, system works a bit. So, you know, not everything is one or zero, it's also true or false, I guess they're interchangeable. But uh, yeah, I think Valve is... Valve previously in the past years have been making very good decisions. I mean, the A1S change, you know, you can tell that they're observing, right? The developers are looking and watching and trying to balance things out and they do care. I just, I don't think they get enough appreciation and maybe that's why, you know, things are a bit slower because they're not, you know, like get 128 tick servers and stuff. But meanwhile, they're trying to implement something that's way bigger than 128 tick, which is tick the servers, you know, they're trying to go above and beyond. So yeah, I think, uh, everyone should be looking forward to CS2 and hopefully it comes this summer and after the break we're all playing a new game. I played a little bit, I felt like a good game. Uh, comparing to how CSGO kicked in when CS 1.6 was still there, CS uh, the game was awful. So now that it's playable on the first version, the first beta, I think that's amazing. So I can just expect that Valve is going to put a lot of updates in the next months and they're going to make the game even better. So I'm very excited to it. But at the same time it kind of gives me a opportunity to maybe stop I don't know I'm still very have mixed feelings about it because it's a big commitment to play a new game even though I think it's going to be let's say 85% similar you know it's going to be the same game overall all the things you're going to bring from the other games you play it but at the same time it might be the push I needed to do something else so I'm still thinking about it we'll see how it goes no pressure uh, to be honest with you uh, I, I didn't play because uh, I was so focused on the major spot and uh, I just played the CSGO and I just uh, watched the videos about it. And I, I like it, I like most of things there. Uh, I think uh, the grenades and all these kind of stuffs. but I didn't play so I, I cannot like give my opinion about it. Uh, my initial thoughts on CS2, uh, when I first launched the game and tried and I feel it's kind of a new game and the visuals and the texture, it all feels new to me but I s haven't played a lot yet but from recent tweets from pros I heard there's the movement is still feels like 64 tick it's not smooth enough um, because it's in beta still but overall it's, I feel it's like a nice new game to me yeah. uh, as it is in beta right now it's Pretty average to be honest but I really like the idea um, the Valve are, you know stepping up and changing the game a bit the smokes feel cool the nading the smokes feels different I know a lot of people don't like it but I don't know people hated mollies and stuff as well uh, I like that they're changing stuff but it has a long way to go I don't like it at the moment but I believe it's gonna get better hopefully because it's still in the beta so obviously there's a lot of bugs and it doesn't look that great yet, but uh, it's gonna get better, I believe. Um, my first impressions, I feel like they, it's a bit underdone. It's not fully uh, complete yet, which was the same as CSGO beta when it came out. I think it needs a lot of work. I think um, the smokes meta might change a lot for teams, but you'll see that over time, I think, as the game comes out even more. But at first glance, I'm not too impressed, but I think it'll get better. Oh, it's a trash game. They, they worked three years to release a 200 digital vibrance game full of bugs worse than CSGO. Like, we went 10 years backwards. Like, good job, Valve.